Hey guys, I am Mo here. Last time I discussed the definitive adaptation of Sherlock Holmes, the 2009 movie Sherlock Holmes. In this video, I'm going to be going over that film's 2011 sequel, Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows. Warning, spoilers ahead. Since the events of the first film, Sherlock Holmes has been attempting to track down the criminal mastermind, Professor James Moriarty. However, Sherlock finds himself to be outmatched at every turn, and while Moriarty schemes to plunge the world into chaos and war, Sherlock desperately struggles to protect those closest to him and foil Moriarty before it's too late. This is Sherlock Holmes' A Game of Shadows. Essentially, everything that was great about the last film was turned up another notch here. The acting, the visuals, the effects, all of it found greater ground. Much like the Sherlock Holmes short stories, you don't have to watch the first film to have an enjoyable experience here. Although, also like the short stories, it does lead to a more complete viewing experience if you have. RDJ and Jude Law both delivered fantastic performances as Sherlock and Dr. John Watson respectively. A lot of the arrogance that was in RDJ's previous performance is gone as now Sherlock finds himself outmatched at every turn, and he well knows it. Watson struggles throughout this film as he is dragged around Europe by Holmes. He mainly wants to return to his new wife and retire, but at the same time, it's clear that he's still sticking around because he cares about Sherlock. Jared Harris joins the film as Professor James Moriarty. He plays the villain to perfection, always carrying at least an undertone of menace and gravitas, from when he's politely talking to Holmes, to torturing him, to playing chess with him. His presence is felt constantly throughout the film, even though he only appears sporadically through it. Harris and Downey play off each other really well, depicting two geniuses at war with each other. I especially appreciated that Moriarty's downfall was not necessarily caused by him making a stupid mistake, as he would have surely done in a lesser script, but instead it was simply due to arrogance. What is more, that arrogance was not unfounded, as it was repeatedly demonstrated that Moriarty was fully capable of outmaneuvering Sherlock, from the initial sequence in which his bomb goes off earlier than Holmes planned, to tricking Holmes into going to the long location, to preventing Holmes from capturing his assassin. If, and only if, Moriarty had simply been more careful, he would have easily won. Also worth mentioning is actress Numi Rapace as the gypsy Simza Heron. Her performance is fine, I guess. It's actually probably the weakest point of the movie, but still by no means bad. I did like that she and Watson got to play crucial roles in the climax of the film, considering that in a lesser movie they undoubtedly would have just stood around and watched Holmes single-handedly save the day. Instead, they both have important roles to play, which goes a long way towards justifying the inclusion of Simms' character in the plot. Oh, and that reminds me, Stephen Fry is in this film too as Mycroft, Sherlock's Older, smarter, and lazier brother. He's barely in the film, but he still manages to be very entertaining. Finally, I'm also going to have to briefly praise returning director Guy Ritchie here. He really upped the ante this time around in terms of visual accomplishments, sending the camera in physically impossible directions, using slow-mo to create effect, flawlessly cutting around space and time. Every action scene Nay, almost every scene in general has its own specific look and feel, from a London night on the town, to a sunny British wedding, to a train hurtling by in the dead of night, to a German forest in the early hours of the dawn, to a peace summit in Switzerland. All in all, a great job from a great director. So, in my opinion, Sherlock Holmes' A Game of Shadows is a masterpiece. Next week, I'm going to be reviewing Netflix's The Sandman TV series, so if that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to subscribe and make sure all notifications are on. Thanks a ton, IMO out.